As New Jersey residents head for the shore this summer, it will cost some families hundreds of dollars to enjoy the beaches in their own backyards. And many still wonder why their shore towns charge taxpayers to feel the sand between their toes at all, especially those with low incomes. CBS 2's Jessica Layton is demanding answers. It's a gorgeous beach day down the shore, but this fun in the sun doesn't come free. In fact, for some, a season pass costing $70 per adult isn't affordable at all. $70 is a lot. Would you pay that? Probably not. It's pretty ridiculous. One Asbury Park resident even raised $25,000 to buy beach badges for people below the poverty line. New Jersey allows municipalities to set the price. Shore cities and towns will tell you that cash keeps the boardwalks in good shape and pays for lifeguards, beach police, and trash removal. If you're a longtime resident of this city, it should be included in your taxes. We took that point to the deputy mayor of Asbury Park, where beach fees brought in about $2 million last year. Why do residents, people who are already paying taxes, have to pay more to use their public beach? So that's really a question for the state, not us. Amy Quinn says that's because state law allows no or reduced fees for only a few categories of people, including senior citizens, people with disabilities, active military and families, veterans, and Gold Star families. The list does not include residents in beach communities or those with low income. Is Asbury Park making the case for that? With the state that this is kind of like being taxed twice. Well, I think we can certainly reach out to our representatives. The issue has come up in the legislature before, but gone nowhere. Senator Vin Gopal says it's up to the town whether it chooses to make all beach badges free while using general tax revenue to cover beach related expenses. Quinn says Asbury Park isn't in position to do that yet. I don't believe that we could run this as well without the beach utility money. What would you say to someone who says this? badge system across the state discriminates against the low income of New Jersey. I'd say let's get to Trenton and do something about it. But for now, the cost to enjoy the coast is what it is. In Asbury Park, New Jersey, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Atlantic City and Wildwood do not charge the public to use the beaches. Those towns generate enough money from tourism.